Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today's Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. Today I'm going to recap the bowl games from last night and look ahead to the bowl games for today with college basketball, NBA, NHL, soccer, news and notes, and best bets. So a smaller show than usual today. All right, college football is where we begin. We have a couple of bowl results to talk about and look ahead to. We have four bowls today instead of three, so that's one extra. So... The Quick Lane Bowl, Minnesota beats Bowling Green 30-24. First Responder Bowl, Texas State beats Rice 45-21. And the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, Kansas beats Yellow V 49-36. All right, we have four games today. 2 o'clock on ESPN, the Military Bowl, Virginia Tech, and Tulane. My line is Tulane by 5 and a half, total 49 and 3 tenths. And it is um let's see. Virginia Tech by ten and a half. That's crazy. Is Michael Pratt not playing? Like why is Virginia Tech that big of a favorite? Let's see. Oh, Michael Pratt's not playing. That makes sense. The, little, the website I follow did not tell me that he was not playing, so that's ridiculous. So, that's five points off for Tulane. And there's other starters that aren't playing either. A couple receivers out. But that's way too high. I'm taking 20 plus the points. They're 3-1 to one to win outright. Like, Virginia Tech's been kind of blah this year. So I'm taking 20 plus the points and 3-1 to one to win outright, even without Michael Pratt. 5 through on ESPN, the Mayo Bowl between West Virginia and North Carolina from Charlotte. Um, I forgot to, uh, check the, um, um, yeah, so I have to do an adjustment here. Um, so West Virginia by four. Total 61 and two fifths, and it's six and a half and 55 and a half. Um, I like you over. Um, even though without May, I think this is a high scoring game. Mountaineers are without oh, some key guys too, but um, I'm gonna go with the over. I think North Carolina probably covers West Virginia wins, but I like the over. Um, the Holiday Bowl. 8 o'clock on Fox, number 15, Louisville against USC. So this is Gus Johnson's game. Um, so let's see if there's any. Yeah, we have to do another um, line adjustment here. Um, Louisville by 10.5 total. 63 and 13 20 it's and it is 7 and 58 and a half um i like the over um Louisville is a good offense um they just played poorly against florida state in the acc title game um i think the cover is well but i'm gonna go with the over so two overs and uh two lane so far and the last of the bowl games nine o'clock on espn the texas bowl texas a&m and number 20 oklahoma state from Houston, I got Oklahoma State by four total of 57. And we have here two and a half and 54 and a half, another over. Um, I think Oklahoma State's going to rip it offensively. Um, A&M's missing some guys, but um, I still think they could score at Oklahoma State. So I like the over on this one as well 
now we will look ahead to the college basketball for tonight. It's only two games, believe it or not. Um, which is strange for two days after Christmas. We'll take that back three games, actually. Um, so, at three o'clock, you have Bethesda Grand Canyon. We does a skip. Um, and then at seven o'clock on the ACT network, you have Morgan State at Virginia. Um, my projections: Virginia by twenty-three to one thirty-seven. At seven ten, we are doing projections now for totals because we are a good fortune into the season, and some of these are skewed because of the uh, playing of non-Division one schools for some of these teams. And it's 26 and a half and 131 and a half. Um, I'm going to take the over. And then 10 o'clock, you have Chicago State and Cal Baptist. Minus Cal Baptist 18 total, 136 and 1120. It's 11 and a half and 132 and a half. Um, I'm going to lay 11 and a half with Cal Baptist. I just think they're better than Chicago State. I will recap the NBA games from last night and look ahead to tonight's state. Nets over to Pistons, 118-112, so the Pistons lose their 27th straight game. Magic over to Wizards, 127-118. Bulls over to Hawks, 118-113. Pacers over to Rockets, 123-117. Grizzlies over to Pelicans, 116-115 in OT. Thunder over to T-Wolves, 129-106. Jazz over to Spurs, 130-118. Blazers over to Kings, 130-113. And the Clippers over to Hornets, 113-104. All right, smaller window for tonight. Only six games. Seven o'clock, Sixers Magic from Orlando. My line is the Magic by five and a half, total 234 and a fifth. And we have two and a half and two, 25 and a half over. That's way too low of a total. Over, over, over. I know I'm beads out, but Maxi can go off. NBA TV, Raptors, Wizards, the wrong teams. The wrong games on NBA TV. It should be. Sixers Magic, maybe you could even talk me in the Buck Snaps. The Raptors Wizards should be. My line is the Raptors five and a quarter, so a two three six and the twentieth, and it's seven and two three eight. Um that's a hard one. Slight under. Seven thirty Buck Snaps from Barclays. My line is box by ten, three quarters, so two three seven and three twentieths. If Giannis doesn't play, then it goes down to three and three quarters. And it's three and two, three, nine, nine. So they must think Giannis isn't playing. So if Giannis plays, lay the three. If Giannis doesn't play, under. Eight o'clock, Suns, Rockets. My line is the Rockets by one, a quarter total, 229, 11, 20ths. And it's Suns by two total, two, I don't get it. Why? What's the obsession with the Suns? The fate of Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. But come on. Oh my God. They're obsessed with the Suns. But I like the over. Um, Nick Thunder. Decent game. Probably the game of the night in the NBA now that, uh, and beat isn't playing. So that's probably the game of the night. My line's Thunder by five and three quarters. So two thirty one the tenth. And it's two and a half and two thirty eight and a half. Um I like the under in that game. Nick's defense is um struggled without Mitchell Robinson, but OKC's defense is pretty good and they should be able to stop the Knicks more than uh more than enough to get the win. I, I do like the Thunder rise the points too, but um under's the pick. And last but not least, eight thirty Cavs Mavs. Um, my line right now is maps by three and a half, total to three and a half. Um, if Luca doesn't play, it's Cavs by four. If Donovan Mitchell doesn't play, but Luca does, maps by nine. If neither Luca or Donovan Mitchell play, maps one and a half. And right now the line is four and two, three and a half. So the total's right on the money. Um, so at gunpoint it's just throwing you your hands in the air 
like, looks like that Luca and Donovan are playing. But I'm going to take the Cavs plus the four. But it's a slight lean to the Cavaliers. Now I'm going to look ahead to a super busy NHL slate for tonight. Um, first night back since the holiday break. So tonight, 7 o'clock, Caps Rangers from the Garden. Rangers minus 20, Caps plus 180, over under 6.5, overs plus 112, unders minus 138, Caps plus 1.5 is minus 137, Rangers minus 1.5 is plus 114. I like the over. Um, I don't like Kelly Gersh and Sturkin's been playing lately. I like the over. Um, Sends Leafs. Leafs minus 182. Sends plus 150, over under 7.5, overs plus 136, unders minus 168. Sends plus 1.5 is minus 150, Leafs minus 1.5 is plus 125. I'm going Leafs, puck line minus 1.5 is plus 125. Panthers, Lightning. Lightning minus 120, Panthers even money over under 6.5, over is minus 128, under is plus 104. Panthers plus 1.5 is minus 230, Lightning minus 1.5 is plus 188. I'm going to go Florida outright, even money. Blue Jackets, Devils. Devils minus 245, Columbus plus 198, over under 6.5, over is minus 162, under is plus 132. Columbus plus 1.5 is minus 115, Devils minus 1.5 is minus 104. Um, this is a hard one. I'm going to go with Columbus on the puck line, plus 1.5 at minus 115, only because... The Devils, I don't like how they've looked. 7-3 TNT, Bruins, Sabres. Bruins minus 156, Sabres plus 130, over under 6.5, overs plus 102, others minus 124. Bruins minus 1.5 is plus 150, Sabres plus 1.5 is minus 182. I like the over at plus money. Pens, Isles. Isles minus 136, Pens plus 105, over under 6.5, overs plus 104, others minus 128. Pens plus 1.5 is minus 30, Isles minus 1.5 is plus 188. I'm Gonna go. Hmm, that line is telling. And you could argue Pittsburgh. I'm gonna take the Islanders in regulation at plus 120. Stars Blues. Stars minus 162, Blues plus 134, over under 6 and a half, overs minus 24, under minus 118. Stars minus 1 half is plus 146, Blues plus 1 half is minus 178, over. Canes Preds. Canes minus 134, Preds plus 112, over under 6.5. Over is even money, under is minus 122. Canes minus 1.5 is plus 176, Preds plus 1.5 is minus 215. I'm going to take the Preds at home as an underdog, plus 112. Red Wings wild. Wild minus 152, Red Wings plus 126, over under 6.5, minus 10 each way. Wings plus 1.5 is minus 24, Wild minus 1.5 is plus 150. I'm going with the over. 9 o'clock, Jets, Blackhawks from the UC. Jets minus 220, Blackhawks plus 180, over under 6.5, over is plus 106, under is minus 130. Winnipeg minus 1.5 is plus 12, Blackhawks plus 1.5 is minus 134. I'm going to go with... Ooh, I'm going to go Winnipeg puck line, minus 1.5 plus 112, even though it's on the road. Avs, Coyotes. Avs minus 178, Coyotes plus 146, over under 6.5, minus 10 each way. Avs minus 1.5 is plus 36, Coyotes plus 1.5 is minus 164, over. 9.30, Kraken, Flames. Flames minus 146, Kraken plus 132, over under 6.5, over is plus 114, under is minus 140. Kraken plus 1.5 is minus 194, Flames minus 1.5 is plus 160. I like the over at plus money here as well. 10 o'clock, Golden Knights, Ducks. Um, Vegas minus 215, Anaheim plus 176, over under 6.5, over is even money, under is minus 122, Vegas minus 1.5 is plus 114, Ducks plus 1.5 is minus 137, I like Vegas puck line, minus 1.5 is plus 114, and then Sharks, Kings, Kings minus 360, Sharks plus 280, over under 6.5, over is even money, under is minus 122, Sharks plus 1.5 is plus 118, Kings minus 1.5 is minus 142, I am going to take a shot with the over at even money here. Now we'll recap the soccer from yesterday and look ahead to today's soccer games. We'll start with Premier League. Um, Nottingham Forest over Newcastle, 3-1. Bournemouth over Fulham, 3-0. Luton over Sheffield United, 3-2. Liverpool over Burnley, 2-0. And Man United over Aston Villa, 3-2. That was a big win for Man U. 2-3 um, of Brentford and Wolves. Uh, Brentford, 14th. Wolves is in 12th. Um, you could argue that 
um, wolves is um, the worst of the two teams because um, Brentford's goal differential is even and Wolves is a minus seven. So that's a you-can-make-a-case kind of deal. Maybe results factor to that. Um, Brentford's favorite, minus 105. Wolves is plus 290. The draw is plus 240. Um, I'm going to take Brentford as the favorite at minus 105. 230, Chelsea, Crystal Palace. Um, Chelsea's in a disappointing 11th. And Crystal Palace is in 15th. Chelsea's are probably favored big. Um, minus one fifty. Crystal Palace plus four thirty. The draws plus Tweedy. I'm going to take over two and a half goals at minus one fifteen. And three fifteen. Everton and Man City. Man City's in, believe it or not, fifth in position for Europa League right now, which is crazy. And Everton is at the bottom in seventeenth. Um, Man City's minus one eighty five. Everton's five to one. The draws plus three thirty. For this one, I'm going to go. Under two and a half goals at plus one oh eight. Next up we'll do the ELC. Um so Preston over leads two one. No wall over QPR two 0 Cardiff Plymouth two two draw, Convention over Chef Valencia two 0 Hunter Seal over Blackbird three 0 Sunderland over Hurl one 0 Rotherham over Borough one 0 Southampton over Swansea five 0 Bristol City over Watford four one West Brom over Norwich City one 0 Stoke over Birmingham three one and Ipswich Leicester one one draw. Leicester had the lead the whole time and then, um, Janik Vestergaard of Ipswich scored in the ninety third minute to get the draw for Ipswich. At home. Um, the Scottish Premiership. Um, Celtic over Dundee. 3 no, And then we have a lot of games. Say 245. Aberdeen and Motherwell. Um, Aberdeen's in 8th. And Motherwell is in 11th. We're going to start getting in the Scottish Premiership. A little bit now that. Um, some of the other leagues are kind of. Um, on hiatuses. Plus, there's important teams from an in, from like a, the UEFA standpoint in here. So Aberdeen, Motherwell. Aberdeen minus 155, Motherwell plus 420, draw plus 280. I'm going to go with the draw plus 280. I feel like that's a draw. Livingston and St. Johnstone. Um, Livingston's in last, and St. Johnstone is in ninth. Um. Livingston plus 135, St. Johnson plus 230, draw plus 195. I like the draw plus 195. Rangers and Ross County. Rangers are hot. They're really five points back of Celtic. Um, Ross County's in 10th. Rangers are minus 150. Ross is 19 to 1. The draw's 8 to 1. I like over 3 and a half goals plus 114. St. Marin and Kilmernock. Um... St. Marin is in 5th, and Kilmernock is in 4th. Um, St. Marin's plus 170, Kilmernock plus 180, drop plus 190. Ooh, I'm going to go with Kilmernock on the road. Right now they're in position for conference league qualifying, so I'm going to take them at plus 180. And last but not least, 3 o'clock, um... Hibernian and Hearts. Um, Hibernian plus 150, Hearts plus 165. The draw is plus 230. Um, Hibernian is in sixth, and Hearts is in third. I think Hearts is the better team. I'm going to take them at plus 165 to beat them. Hibernian. And then the Saudi Pro League... Um, Al Nasser over Al Idiod 5 2. And I'm quickly going to check to see. Um, so, Liga MX back January 12th. Same as uh, German Bundesliga. Um, La Liga's back on the 2nd of January. Uh, Serie A returns Friday. French League One, the twelfth. Air Devise, he's the twelfth as well. Carabao Cup semis first leg starts on the ninth. 
I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that we, uh, yay for women's is in the middle of January. So, um, and then, uh, we have a, uh, Premier League game on Thursday. So we'll get to that on tomorrow's show. So that's it for the soccer. Now I'll do the news and notes. Um, not a lot of news and notes. Um, so the Pistons' 27 straight losses is the longest single season losing streak in NBA history, which is absolutely crazy. Um, this Pistons team is way more talented than that Sixers team under Brett Brown that year. Um, so that is somewhat surprising. And, like, will Monty Williams be one and done there? Like, the thought of that is insane. Um, bad news for the Minnesota Vikings. Their fears are true. Um, TJ Hawkinson, torn ACL and MCL out for the remainder of the year. That's brutal for TJ Hawkinson and the Minnesota Vikings, who are fighting to make the postseason right now. Zach Wilson is not cleared as he remains in concussion protocol as Trevor Simeon will start on Thursday against the Browns. And speaking of the Browns, uh, Dorian Thompson-Robinson out for the season due for a hip injury placed on IR. Um, DTR had some moments this year on the Browns, but Joe Flacco has played better than DTR. Um. Deion Sanders tweets out his positions of need on his team. He puts pretty much every defensive position. Edge rush, defensive tackle, cornerback, linebacker on his transfer portal wish list. Well, he's not wrong because his defense was not very good this year. Um, Brock Purdy takes blame for his four-interception game. He says it's not fair to his teammates. Right thing to do there. Taking accountability, although it's not always your fault. And then, obviously, the stingers doesn't help as, he, as well. Um, the Simpsons troll Jim Harbaugh as he teaches cheating class at Jim Harbaugh Center for Competitive and Balance. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. And then a trade happened um, between the Yankees and the Guardians as the Yankees sent... Estevan Florial to the Guardians for righty Cody Mars. I guess it's a change of scenery trade for both sides. Um, Florial obviously was a yet another bust prospect for the Yankees, who um, his trade value was higher four years ago, and they thought he was a franchise player, and that obviously wasn't the case. And then Cody Mars, change of scenery guy as well. We'll see how that trade ends up breaking out. So, not a lot of news and notes today. I apologize about that. Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by fans. A little short show today. I'm kind of glad that we got this done in um, less than a half an hour. Um, I'm going to hockey for best bet. Um, there's a couple I like. Um, but the one that I like the most, I am going to go with... And over. And I like a lot of the overs. Um, but the one I like the most is the Calgary Seattle one. I think I've hit on this one before earlier in the year. I'm going to quarter unit. Um, it's plus 114 over six and a half. Quarter unit, crack and flames over six and a half. So that's it for the show. I'll be back tomorrow recapping everything and looking ahead to everything tomorrow too. And there's more college basketball tomorrow. So that's good. So it'll be a little bit of a longer show. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.